This video explains some of the finer points for trap crop planting and maintenance suitable for small farms. For details about basic principles and effective layouts of mixed trap crops, please see videos part 1 and 2. Trap crops are not the silver bullet solution to all pests. While this video explains planting method for NK300 sorghum and Pradovic sunflower for leaf-footed and stink bug management, research continues on finding most suitable trap crops and varieties for reducing other major pests of vegetables like cucumber beetles and aphids. In the case of sorghum and sunflower trap crops, the seed head is the attractive plant part in each case. In order to synchronize the availability of the seed head with the occurrence of the insect, these trap crops should be planted two weeks earlier than the main crop. Small farmers can stagger plant with multiple rows of trap crops. Sunflowers take 70 days while sorghum takes about 100 days to mature. Sorghum and sunflower trap crops should be planted in April and May on good quality soil. Planting the trap crop seeds with a garden push type planter is an easy process. For sorghum we have observed two plants per foot to be adequate plant density and function as a trap crop. Rows can be planted three or more feet apart depending on the available area. Side dressing nitrogen for sorghum will promote rapid growth of the trap crop. Some trap crops can have poor germination with too little soil moisture. In Alabama, research running a drip tape between sorghum rows worked really well for this hardly low maintenance trap crop. Sunflowers also do well with irrigation and should be planted on the outside to arrest early season leaf footed bug migration. Tomatoes and other main crops should be planted as far from sorghum NK300 as possible to reduce shading. Extra space is also necessary for operating small farm machinery like tillers and sprayers between the rows. A trap cropping system is designed to arrest leaf footed bug migration and large numbers will gather on sunflower and sorghum heads. Keep a detailed record of numbers by scouting the insects on a minimum of 20 heads of the crop and check the insect count on main crop as well. This will be useful for targeting insecticide sprays on sorghum. Target pests must be removed from the sorghum trap crop to prevent large buildup and migration to the main crop. One or two insecticide treatments with synthetic pyrethroids like Warrior and Mustang Max are sufficient in conventional farming systems. Organic producers should target the nymphs with approved products. Destroy the trout crops at the end of the season to prevent pest carryover. Please attend a regional extension meeting to get new information on integrated pest management and crop production methods. You can also attend extension field days for hands-on integrated pest management training. Please contact a regional extension agent at your local county office today.